So this is Miss Ruby. She's a little sleepy. Um, so she has uh, a gene for curly hair. It's called a Rex gene. Uh, so she's really fuzzy. Miss Pixie, who's napping in her hammock, I believe. Oh, there she is. Let me wake her up. Come here, sweetie. They're very old, so they tend to nap a lot. Come here, baby girl. Wake up. And old for a rat is how many years or months? Uh, two and a half. They only live wow. a couple of years, which is pretty awful. It's like the only drawback. To oh, goodness, Miss Pixie, come back here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so as you can see, Miss Pixie is afraid of everything. Um, I know, sweetie. She is not happy about me waking her up. Um, Ruby, on the other hand, um, is the total opposite. Um, she's very opinionated, very pushy, is very in your face, loves to cuddle. Um, if you pick her up, she will try to shove her way inside your shirt, because that's where it's nice and warm. <laughs> um, so a lot of people, when they um, think about rats, they think like, oh, they're scary, or they're gross, or they're mean, and that's wrong for two reasons. So one is when you think about rats, a lot of people are thinking about wild rats, um, and they're very, very different. It's like trying to compare a small dog to a wolf. Like, it's just completely different. Um, and the other reason, um, when people think rats are dirty, even wild rats, um, are actually very clean. They groom themselves the same way cats do. They also groom each other for social bonding. Um, and they're very social creatures. They're very kind to each other. Um, if one of them is hurt, they'll help each other. Um, or if one of them is, uh, there's even scientific experiments um, where they'll put one rat is like stuck in a trap and they put another one in. And even if they try to bribe it away with cookies, the other rat will free his friend first and then share the cookies. <laughs> They're very kind, they're very sweet, and they also bond really well with people. Um, and they all have very, very distinct personalities. <laughs> Each one is very different. Um, so I'm gonna grab Ruby, come here. Oh, she's very grumpy right now, because I woke her up. All right, I'm gonna switch my camera real quick. So we're gonna go in the other room. And we're gonna meet some new babies. So I just got them. A couple of days ago, whoops, did I close out of the app? There we go. Um, got them from a breeder. And let me switch my camera again. There we go. So the smaller gray one is Henry, and the bigger white one with the gray face is Teddy. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's hiding. So if you remember, I mentioned that Miss Ruby has the Rex gene, so her hair is curly, so she's all fluffy. Henry has that same gene, and then Teddy has two copies of that gene, so his fur, especially as he gets older, will be thinner and he'll have some bald spots, but the around his feet and his head will stay that super, super curly fur. Um, and you might also notice their ears, it's hard to tell because they're so little, but these guys, their ears are really big and set to the side, um, and then the normal ear, like a wild rat's, it's called a top ear. Yeah. And so these babies are, I don't know exactly, because I don't remember uh, when their birthdays were, but little Henry is probably about five or six weeks old. He's just old enough to be away from his mom. And then Teddy's about twice that, about twice as old. Oh, hi, Henry. You want to come say hi to me? Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh he tickles, he's so tickly, he's so tickly. <laughs> um, and they're half brothers, so they have the same dad but different moms, which is why they're different ages. I'm gonna put you back in. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna grow very quickly so they won't stay this small for very long. And sadly, they do kind of grow into the ears. 